Here is Synthax, a time traveler from the year 2500. I am here today to tell you a fascinating tale of a man and his horse. Not just any horse, but a prancing horse, a symbol of speed, passion, and prestige. This is the history of Ferrari, an iconic brand that has become synonymous with luxury and performance. Our story begins in 1898 in Modena, Italy, with the birth of Enzo Ferrari. A man who was as extraordinary as the cars he would later create. At an early age, Enzo's passion for automobiles became apparent, but his journey towards creating the Ferrari brand was anything but straightforward. As a young man, Enzo Ferrari found himself fascinated by the rush of racing, sparked by a visit to a motor racing event in Bologna. This passion for speed and mechanics eventually led him to become a race car driver, joining the Alfa Romeo team in 1920. His keen sense of aesthetics and performance would later form the core of Ferrari's ethos. The 1920s and 1930s were crucial years for Enzo. His experience as a racing driver led him to understand the intricacies of high-performance automobiles. In 1929, he founded Scuderia Ferrari, which began as Alfa Romeo's racing division. This period witnessed Enzo's growing influence in the world of racing, where he began to envision the potential of his own brand. World War II brought numerous challenges to Italy and its automotive industry. Enzo's racing division was heavily impacted, and the focus shifted towards supporting the war efforts. However, in the heart of the turmoil, Enzo's dreams remained undeterred. He believed in the potential of a brand that would revolutionize the automobile world. It was in 1947, two years after the end of the war, that Ferrari launched its first car, the 125S. With a 1.5 LV12 engine, this car encapsulated the spirit of Ferrari, high performance, sophisticated design, and, above all, a desire for speed. It was the birth of a legend that would go on to dominate the world of luxury sports cars. The 1950s were a decade of growth and recognition for Ferrari. The company continued to produce high-performance cars, gaining significant attention in the racing world. Their performance at international competitions, like the 24 Hours of Le Mans, solidified Ferrari's reputation as a formidable force in motor racing. Concurrently, Ferrari was becoming a symbol of luxury and wealth. The company's production cars, such as the 250 series, were desired by the wealthy and the famous. It wasn't just about speed anymore. Owning a Ferrari was a status symbol, a testament to one's love for the finer things in life. As Ferrari grew, so did its rivalry with other automobile manufacturers. Perhaps the most infamous of these was the rivalry with Ford in the 1960s. After a failed acquisition attempt by Ford, the two companies found themselves in a heated battle at the Le Mans, resulting in some of the most memorable races in history. The 1960s also witnessed a significant shift in Ferrari's design philosophy. Cars like the Ferrari 250 GTO, with its long nose and short deck, became iconic. These designs, which were as beautiful as they were efficient, set a benchmark for future sports cars. In the 1970s, Ferrari faced several challenges, including a global oil crisis and Enzo's declining health. However, these trials did not deter the company. Ferrari adapted by introducing models like the 308 GTB, which, despite the economic downturn, were received with much enthusiasm. The 308 GTB, launched in 1975, was revolutionary in many ways. The car was a clear departure from Ferrari's V12 tradition, instead opting for a V8 engine. It was also the first production Ferrari to feature a fiberglass body, a testament to the company's innovative spirit and its ability to adapt to changing times. Enzo Ferrari's declining health led to a decision that would alter the future of the company. In 1969, he sold a 50% stake of the company to Fiat, a move that provided much-needed capital and stability for Ferrari. This allowed the company to continue its operations and maintain its focus on producing high-performance cars, despite the challenging economic conditions. The 1980s saw Ferrari making strides in the fields of technology and design. In 1984, Ferrari introduced the Testarossa, a car that would become one of the most recognizable symbols of its time. With its side strakes and wide rear end, the Testarossa was a striking sight on the road, and its 4.9-liter flat-12 engine ensured it had the performance to match its looks. Tragedy struck in 1988 when Enzo Ferrari passed away at the age of 90. His death marked the end of an era, but his legacy lived on in the company he had built. 
The company continued to uphold Enzo's vision of creating high-performance, beautifully designed cars that pushed the boundaries of what was possible. The 1990s saw Ferrari continuing to innovate and expand its range. The decade began with the launch of the Ferrari F40, a car designed to celebrate the company's 40th anniversary. The F40 was a testament to Enzo's vision, a high-performance car that combined advanced technology with a raw, uncompromised driving experience. Ferrari also marked its presence in the luxury grand touring segment with the introduction of the 550 Marinello in 1996. The car represented a return to the front-engined, rear-wheel drive layout, a design that harkened back to the classic Ferraris of the 1960s. Meanwhile, Ferrari's prowess in racing continued to shine. In Formula One, the company enjoyed an era of dominance, thanks in large part to the arrival of Michael Schumacher in 1996. Schumacher, one of the greatest drivers in the history of the sport, won five consecutive world championships for Ferrari from 2000 to 2004. The turn of the millennium brought new challenges and opportunities for Ferrari. The company continued to push the boundaries of performance and design, launching models like the Enzo Ferrari in 2002. Named after the company's founder, the Enzo represented the pinnacle of Ferrari's technology and performance at the time. In 2006, Ferrari introduced the 599 GTB Fiorano, replacing the 575 M Marinello. The 599 was a grand tourer that offered a blend of performance and luxury, a car that was as comfortable on the racetrack as it was on the open road. With its 6.0 LV12 engine producing over 600 horsepower, it was one of the most powerful production cars Ferrari had ever made. By the late 2000s, Ferrari was more than just a car manufacturer, it was a global brand. The company expanded its presence beyond automobiles, launching a range of merchandise and even opening a Ferrari-themed amusement park in Abu Dhabi in 2010. The 2010s saw Ferrari continuing to innovate and impress. The La Ferrari, introduced in 2013, was the company's first hybrid car. The La Ferrari demonstrated Ferrari's commitment to embrace new technology while upholding its heritage of performance and luxury. Only 499 units of the La Ferrari were produced, showcasing Ferrari's tradition of exclusivity. It was not just a car. It was a masterpiece, a perfect blend of past, present, and future. Ferrari's commitment to innovation wasn't confined to its road cars. In the world of Formula One, the team continued to push the boundaries of performance. Even though the dominance of the early 2000s was harder to replicate, Ferrari remained a constant force on the track, testament to its racing pedigree and relentless pursuit of excellence. Ferrari's 70th anniversary in 2017 was marked by the launch of the La Ferrari Aperta, a limited-edition open-top version of the La Ferrari. This model was a celebration of Ferrari's rich history and a statement of its continued dedication to luxury and performance. In 2019, the company announced the SF90 Stradale, the first-ever plug-in hybrid electric vehicle from Ferrari. With a combined power output of 986 horsepower, the SF90 Stradale was the most powerful Ferrari road car to date. It represented a significant step towards a new era of hybridization without compromising on the performance that Ferrari is renowned for. With the growing global consciousness towards environmental sustainability, Ferrari faced the challenge of evolving its lineup of high-performance cars to align with these changes. The company's response was to incorporate hybrid technology into its cars, maintaining its reputation for high performance while demonstrating a commitment to reducing emissions. In 2020, Ferrari unveiled the Roma, a grand touring sports car with a stylish minimalist design. The Roma represented a new direction for Ferrari's design language, emphasizing elegance and comfort alongside the company's traditional performance credentials. 2021 marked a significant milestone in Ferrari's history with the introduction of the 812 Superfast. This car, powered by a naturally aspirated 6.5-liter V12 engine, was Ferrari's fastest production car at the time. The 812 Superfast was a celebration of Ferrari's storied V12 heritage, demonstrating the company's commitment to its roots even as it embraced new technologies. The challenge of the 2020s was about maintaining Ferrari's core values of performance and luxury in a world increasingly shifting towards electric mobility. Ferrari faced this challenge head-on, integrating hybrid technology into their lineup and announcing plans to introduce an all-electric Ferrari by 2025. As Ferrari navigated the transition to electric vehicles, it continued to excel in motorsport. 
Scuderia Ferrari, the oldest surviving team in Grand Prix racing, continued its participation in Formula One, maintaining its legacy and contributing to its ongoing evolution. Meanwhile, Ferrari continued to push the boundaries of what was possible in the world of high-performance cars. The introduction of the SF90 Spider and the SF90 Stradale Assetto Fiorano in 2022 showcased Ferrari's commitment to integrating cutting-edge technology with breathtaking design and unparalleled performance. These models offered an unmatched driving experience, blending the thrill of a supercar with the versatility of a grand tour. Today, Ferrari remains a legendary name, a symbol of luxury, performance, and passion. The prancing horse continues to reign supreme, its spirit undiminished by the passage of time. From its humble beginnings in the heart of Italy to its status as a global icon, Ferrari's journey is a testament to the vision of Enzo Ferrari and the enduring allure of the brand he created. The future holds many exciting possibilities for Ferrari. As the world shifts towards electric mobility, Ferrari stands poised to redefine the boundaries of performance and luxury. With its rich heritage, commitment to innovation, and relentless pursuit of excellence, the prancing horse is ready to gallop into a new era. Until we meet again, farewell.